Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's see what other dangers await us in the Frontier Cavern. I'm sure it's gonna be all exciting. Oh boy, I'm so I gotta go. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Oh, there's a bumbling snitch bug. An old beetle. So ooh, yellows. Hey, how's it going there? Well actually. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if you get caught by one of those, just uh, shake yourself loose. <laughs> but this one's alone. I mean, this anode beetle is alone, so it's completely harmless. It's kind of kind of weird that it's alone, because you rarely, if ever, find them alone. I mean, well, there's a couple over here, but what I mean is that they're usually in pairs, so that they can do their sparky spark thing, and yeah. Uh, this looks like to be, it's, uh, it's going to be a yellow-only floor, I guess you could say, so... Uh, Let's get working on this with the yellows. It always seems like that when there's a uh, when there's these sorts of enemies, it's typically a yellow only floor. Well, for the most part. So yeah. Hey, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? Oh, someone reds must have decided to do some stuff, and then they rejoin us. Okay, that's fine with me, I suppose, as long as I don't throw them at something electrified. Actually, maybe I should separate them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Uh, maybe I'll go this way now, because that side's sort of kind of cleared out. There's another bumbling snitch bug. Here's takeouts. You can pretty much leave just one of these guys if you'd like. Yeah, nope. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, 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 it's a regular snitch bug. You know, swooping snitch bug. Stop it, stop it. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there's another one here, too. <laughs> Aha! I only had one Pikmin, and it worked. <laughs> Somehow. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. I mean, it's okay, I suppose, if you plant them, because they'll eventually flower, but you're wasting a lot of time here, man. <laughs> you're just more of a nuisance than anything. Get, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, there's a bumbling. Yeah, this that guy uh, has a bumbling. A <laughs> bumbling snitch bug. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a pretty mellow floor overall, actually. I mean, there if you're using yellows, there's nothing that can really kill you. <laughs> At least it doesn't seem to be. I mean, yeah, I know that if you take enough damage from a bumbling snitch bug, it'll um, uh, it'll kill a captain, but otherwise it's not really that, that big of a deal or anything like that. It, especially since you can shake yourself loose from said bumbling snitch bug by just with the control stick, you know, just by rotating it all over the place. Come on, just get, get, stop it, stop it, no, get, stop it. <laughs> well, they go after Captain, so you know what, I'm just gonna chuck them on, I don't have enough, do I? <laughs> stop that. Well, gotta get some more. <laughs> Guys, where are you? I need your help. I'm sorry for leaving you behind. I just, I just thought you were in great danger. Hey, wait, what's over here? Uh, oh yeah, there's a marble over here. I probably should clear this out too. Those uh, Pikmin that are on the other side are, aren't really in any danger or anything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna switch to a purple here. Watch this. Yeah, because they won't, they won't be able to arc when they're all flipped over like that. So it's not like. Uh, um, when there's two of them like that uh, next to each other, if you stun one, it's not going to uh, uh, affect the other one. I mean, it's, oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> Something tells me that that um, get get down here, get down. There we go. Something tells me that the uh, spotty bull bear that randomly attacked my Pikmin and made me lose a bunch of whites. Um, must have fell from the sky or something, because I looked over the footage of that, and I did not see one anywhere around, um, that particular floor. So yeah, I must have passed by a certain spot, and it must have fell down like, uh, certain enemies that do, at like that bumbling snitch bug there. Uh, okay, um, let's see here. Well, there's the exit to the next floor, we're not ready for that yet. Uh, we still gotta go get, get that other treasure. This isn't active, right? Okay. <laughs> It'll spark if it's active, basically. Okay, I'm gonna chuck a couple on here, and I'll kill you off, I suppose, just for kicks. No, that's kind of rude to do, but it's what us captains do. <laughs> for the moolah. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, 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 mm, oh, mm. Okay. Couple on there. Couple on there. Okay, a couple leaves in here. <laughs> yeah, there's not very many leaves here. Just that a couple, couple got uh, their leaves knocked off of them. But, uh, oh, here's another leaf. Maybe I should uh, flower them up with that last droplet there before I go over to the next floor. It couldn't hurt. Yeah, I see there's a leaf in with those guys there. What's this called? What's this called? Innocence lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the floor is complete. I've got uh, another leaf to, well, actually two leaves to flower up, I suppose. I've got enemies to take back, I suppose. I don't know, <laughs> really. It couldn't hurt us because I want the, um, whoa. <laughs> the, the, I want the depth to be completely eradicated by the end of uh, uh, this particular underground area. For reasons. <laughs> Namely, walk through gameplay full of reasons. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna plop those on there. It should be good. Yeah, that's good. Notice that I'm not even bothering to uh, re whistle them back in my party or anything like that. It's because, you know, once I enter the, uh, um, you know, the, the next hole to the next area, it'll just. just uh, everyone will just regroup together, and yeah. Uh, so I'm making a lot of careless thing. I mean, I'm doing a lot of careless things that I wouldn't be doing if I was otherwise up on the surface. Come on, guys, into the wall. There we go. I like when droplets like that are right up against the wall because you can do stuff like that. It's it's easier to get uh, a lot of Pikmin flowered at once uh, via that. And yeah. Wait, what am I whistling you guys for? <laughs> I've got 91. You know what? There, I'm at 92. <laughs> I got them all, just, just because. All right, let's go to the next floor and see what awaits us. Hopefully, an ivory candy pop butter too. <laughs> I've just been losing a lot of whites, and it would, it would be kind of annoying to have to wait for like one or two whites to knock down a poison gate or something like that. <laughs> oh. This is the Mamuta floor, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah, this is like the bonusy, bonus, bonus area. Okay, we've got some ivory candy pop buds here, and actually, I think I'm gonna switch to, um, yeah, the Baldman. I know, I know the Baldman's really handy, but I'm not gonna be able to take it outside the dungeon anyway, so in you go! <laughs> uh, let's see here. I probably can spare a couple... Mm, yeah, I could probably spare a couple of yellows, so... In you go! I think I threw one more than I needed. Yep, okay. <laughs> um, anyway, what you want to do here is... Uh, not... There we go. Is you want to get all your Pikmin to the colors that you want before you uh, encounter the Mamutas. Oh, here, this is actually a Mamuta right here. Um, what they do is... They pound Pikmin into the ground, and they automatically flower. Yeah, they are an they're an enemy that can hurt the captains, but are actually extremely beneficial to Pikmin. And oh, Violet, Violet! I could always use more purples, since I need a hundred of those suckers. <laughs> block, 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 block. Okay, that's good. And uh, let's see if we can get past that without bugging it. I don't think it'll attack until Pikmin start attacking it. Ah! Okay, it does. <laughs> well, that's not that bad because it, I actually want to do that anyway. But yeah, that, oh, that uh, butterfly was standing. I should say laying on it. Uh, oh, hello, Caustic Dweevil. What are you doing here? So this isn't a, so much a bonus floor as it is danger. These spew water at uh, at Pikmin. Yeah, so that's why I'm using blue ones. Match the colors when it comes to Dweevils, basically. And that one's gonna pick up that other one, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> why do you do that? Why do you do that? <laughs> well, gotta get you off it. Well, I should say I gotta get it off it. If it spews water, it's okay because the Pikmin will just panic in this little area, and then I'll just be able to blow them back out. And look at that, the ones that uh, got pushed on the ground got flowered nicely. Uh, let's see what's inside this here really quick. And oh, I didn't mean to hit you! I'm sorry, unmarked Spectralid. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh! Okay, that's fine. 
<laughs> so as you can- No, 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 don't attack! Mamutas are your friend! Mamutas are your friend. <laughs> Even though they hurt captains, they are the friend of Pikmin. Uh, yeah, I know there's a treasure on this floor, but I'm just making sure that I've got uh, um, all the stuff that I want to flower before I, you know, start attacking these guys. Because, unfortunately, it has to go. It has to go. I'm so sorry, but you carry a delicious treasure that I need. I need so badly. Look at this fist. <laughs> Woo! This is why I need it badly. Well, okay, it's not that badly, but it's an awesome item. Assessing. How strange. It's a typical metal object came from inside that bizarre being. It appears to be a giant metal hand. Perhaps it is an ancient work of art. Perhaps it is. Well, go carry that back to the onion, because I need to. Uh, not onion! Ah! Research pod! <laughs> Okay, everyone, uh, no, okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh no! This other one must have got killed by the other Pikmin. Um, the Mamutas are a pretty vulnerable, quote-unquote, enemy, so it's not really that surprising that some would be, uh, killed rather easily by that, by the Pikmin just, like, straggling around and attacking them. Because, after all, I can't hurt Pikmin, so yeah. Brute Knuckles! This object seems to replicate a humanoid fist. A glove much like it once lay in my junk hold. <laughs> and here is that very glove. I have just found the missing rocket punch in my junk hold. <laughs> Tap any three times to launch it. One, two, punch! I clicked through that too fast, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, now we can punch. Yeah, like that. See that? We got like a little wind up on our third punch and that does more damage and stuff. Not really that important or anything like that, but you know, 100%ing sake. No guys, do not attack our friendly, friendly buddy here. I just like to get all the Pikmin flowered up here. Come on, just attack. Good boy, yes! Attack the Pikmin! Make a beautiful flower field! Yes! The flowers! Ah, pain! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Louie. Okay, attack. Eh, eh. Sorry, Louie. I want flowery. Eh. Wait, actually, I think everyone's flowered. Wait, actually, everyone's on the ground, though. <laughs> I know it takes forever to pluck them out, but it's so, so handy, you know, to be able to flower up your Pikmin. If only I had a certain item that could help me pluck these things faster, but alas, I don't. I don't, but I know where it's located, though, and it's in a rather notorious dungeon. Anyway, I should probably kill you, shouldn't I? Hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to get it to uh, punch the ground somewhere where it wouldn't, like, you know, attack Pikmin, like, instantly put him on the ground, because I didn't want to pluck him again. That would be kind of annoying. Why are you going in that direction? <laughs> I wanted you to get, pluck these in the corner before I forget about them. Oh, um, I should mention this. Uh, I never showed this dialogue box before, uh, so I should probably show it now. If you ever go to the exit where there's Pikmin underground, it'll say, If you delve deeper, all of your Pikmin sprouts will be left behind! And, yeah, but I, I most certainly want to help them, so yeah. Do not leave the Pikmin behind, especially with how much work we put into them. Hey, wait, uh, these are leaves? How did these... Why are, I see, why are these leaves... That shouldn't be, because the the Pikmin, when they're knocked on the ground by the Mamuta, they automatically flower. How did that happen? Is it possible for Pikmin leaves to get, I mean, Pikmin flowers to get knocked off them while they're underground or something? I don't think that's a possibility. It, uh, me. <laughs> The reason why that happened was because it stopped auto-detecting um, uh, Pikmin to pluck out of the ground. Anyway, I'm gonna... Hmm. No, I don't mind if you do that. Just, uh, yeah, keep flowering those leaves that are back there, if you don't mind. That would be pretty nice of you, thank you. Making this beautiful field of flowers... Of... So many to pluck! So many to pluck! Okay, this thing's gotta go, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pain! Ah, <laughs> stop it! Stop it! I, I, I want to stop plucking because I want to start throwing. But Automar just kept plucking because there's so many in the ground. And there we go. All right, now let's pluck them out, and then I'll um, flower the rest using the sap droplet. Hopefully. 
Ah, get it. So much to pluck. I'm just mashing the A button. There's nothing strategic about this. <laughs> it's almost like level grinding. <laughs> and level grinding is one of the many banes of my existence. Come on, come on. Come on. Pluck faster. Pluck faster. Okay, everyone? Got everyone? Okay, 91. Where's the... Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, I guess you could take that... Uh, uh, I was going to say take back the butterfly. But uh, I suppose that works too. I didn't get any leaves. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't get any leaves in there, did I? I didn't think I did. There's some, I only want flowers to chuck on here to throw stuff back. Dang it, I got a leaf in there. <laughs> How difficult could this be? Okay, good. Now everyone against the wall. Now swoop right through. That's why I like those droplets next to the wall. Alright, that should be good now. Do not go through there unless you want to leave the area for whatever reason. And I doubt you do. <laughs> I mean, you gotta 100% the game after all. You're in it for the challenge, right? Aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see their progress. A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, by the way, you could also transform Pikmin into other color. Uh, this could also be used to transform Bulbman into uh, uh, regular Pikmin that'll come out of the dungeon with you. So, yeah, it's something nice to have. Uh, all right, we're good. We're good. Let me in. Let me in. Stop punching. Thank you. <laughs> huh, that floor took quite a while. I mean, I know it was mostly a power-up floor more than anything, but... Still, I mean, I guess it was sort of like a strategic power-up floor because you want to get the most out of that floor, which is why I was carefully uh, uh, fluttering around there. All right, sub-level six. Here we go. Ooh, music's getting serious. Okay, so we got... So oh boy. That's, uh, that's a rather mean combination. So here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> ah, pain. Louis... Louie took enough damage from the Mamutas already. You don't need more from you, fish. Ah! Stop it. Stop it. Well, maybe you're not so much fish as you are a... Uh, eh, eh, amphibian-like thingy. Uh-oh, no. Oh, Baldman, really? I could use you very muchly. <laughs> that would be very nice to have, because I could... Eh, eh. <laughs> well, uh, I could probably lead it through here and just attack it normal. You know, with regular Pikmin here and whatnot. So let's, uh, uh, come on. Are you stuck on those water dumples? Are you really stuck on... Uh, <laughs> I swear. Okay, you gonna come now this time? Okay, you are. Okay, come, 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 come. And purple, 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 purple. No, 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 no. I want to throw it right about here. Stun it. Oh, yeah, there we go. And get the babies. Yes, I got 100... Pikmin again. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll be able to transform them into something that I can, you know, use. But, uh, yeah. We'll, we shall see, I suppose, how the randomly generated dungeons work. Uh, oh, jeez. If I didn't have blues with me, I would be very unhappy at this point. Uh, well, maybe not, because I have the Bulbman and whatnot, but I, what I mean is that if I didn't have Bulbman, and if I didn't have Blues, and I had a full squad of 100, uh, there wouldn't be any Bulbman here to be able to go in the water and be able to get this chest piece. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh god. Decorated Cannon Beetle. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys here, and I'm going to use its homing boulders to kill off the local wildlife, if you don't mind. Aha! <laughs> Can I lead a boulder through here? That would be very nice, because I see another cannon beetle through this way. Oh, there's two in here. E oh, no, no, I, I made that turn a little too wide, didn't I? Oh, something got back. Oh, it's a chest piece. Woo! Oh, yeah! Priceless statue! The queen is a priceless piece. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so much projectiles going on here. Okay, someone's got a boomerang around to kill each other. There we go. Delightful. Uh, and I could potentially kill you by getting one through here. And... Come on, follow me. Follow me. 
Just like Pachirisu in the World Championships of Pokemon? Dang it. <laughs> ah, yeah, I guess I'll be... I don't know. Oh, there's another chess piece. Oh, why did you shoot that way? Like, why... I was gonna say, maybe I could get Pikmin through here to uh, sneak something through there, but eh, I don't know. That's kind of kind of a tricky ordeal. Okay, shoot that way. That's perfect. Now I'm gonna take this this way, and I'm gonna lead you around like this, and hopefully that boulder will... Yes! No! <laughs> it wasn't a crisp enough hit to kill it. Dang it. Kill it. Kill it. Yes. I know it's kind of a cowardly way to kill those things, but uh, these things are pretty dangerous. <laughs> Okay, come on, boomerang round. Boom! Oh, thank you, slope. <laughs> All right, the place is pretty well cleared out now. Uh, there's just that water dumple, and I can take that out with just some regular attackers because it's on land. Uh, well, now it's on water, but I'm gonna aim aim for it with purples, preferably. Uh, hopefully, yeah, because it'll go right on land nicely. Nice. Okay. Now, gotta get that chess piece, and by get that chess piece, I mean I gotta clear the way for the chess piece. <laughs> eh. Okay, there we go, and put a couple on there, uh, oh no, what am I doing? I'm stupid, so very stupid, <laughs> you're not blues, <laughs> jeez, what was I thinking there? Just kind of going into autopilot or something. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the blues over now. E eh. and wait, I got some whites in there. E e e e e e. Okay, one more. Yeah. Okay, this is this is gonna take forever here. <laughs> Separate. Just want the blues to be in an ideal spot. There we go. And call together. There we go. Uh, I'm also looking for the Baldmen if I could get them too, but I don't think I need them for uh, this chess piece. They don't take very many poke uh, the Pokemon. Oh, jeez, I got Pokemon in the mine now. Uh, they don't take many Pikmin to carry uh, because the game is expecting that since you have, um, since you need to have a specific type of Pikmin with you, uh, they don't want to be too demanding with it so that you don't have to go through the caves all over again. So the game, despite all of its unfairities, I guess you could say, is fair at times, which is kind of interesting if you ask me. And... Blues? Yeah, I know my Bulbmen are behind that wall there with uh, um, some other blues. Maybe I should get them over here. There you go. Just to get some... Uh, Booty back to the ship, I suppose. No, don't go on that one. Okay, that's fine. Eh, yeah, that should be. I'm, I'm getting too impatient for this. Maybe I'll just, I'll just go to the next floor when, when they. Don't follow me in the water. Don't. Did you not learn anything from the reds? Actually, you probably didn't see anything, because the reds are behind the wall. <laughs> okay, we are good, I think. <laughs> Keyword, think. I don't think there was any treasure uh, down that way anymore, so all I have to do is go up uh, that slope, up to the exit, and then this floor will be complete. It's a king! A white king! Worthless statue! <laughs> it's actually, um, the king is a kind of useful piece in chess because it can move on all, all squares, you know, just one square away. It makes it a rather versatile piece, even if it can't move away from things, and it's typically under attack by a lot of other things. <laughs> but anyway, um, it looks like this floor is complete, and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. Hey, Louie, get in there.